scratch that plan, we ran into an uh, issue because these things aren't designed to be wall mounted. <laughs> And welcome back to the channel here in sunny Chicago. It is gonna be a good day, not as hot as the other two days. It is uh, about 10 days later. Uh, Fourth of July happened. I had some extended family come in from all over the country. So I had things to do and no one could get me the parts I needed for my Sonic cabinets because of the holiday. The Sonic cabinets are made in Germany, I think. Um, but either way, it's a metric system here. So when I need to create feed extensions to put the cabinets up on the ledge, uh, I couldn't find anything at local hardware stores. I had to order from Granger. Uh, so I picked up the parts and now we can get the cabinets all fully installed. So cabinets are going up today. Also, I got another delivery coming today, which is my car list. So stay tuned. Hopefully I can get the cabinets done and we can go from there. I said it wasn't hot today, but I sweat if it's the negative 40, so headbands on. But to show you what we've done here, um, it's not the prettiest thing, but basically, because I've got this nine inch lip here, we've made these extensions. Ideally, I would have mounted them to the wall, but then I'd have to cut those legs off and, you know. But this will work perfectly. Uh, it will trap minimal dust. So we're gonna start doing that. Look, I saved must be a foot a bit more than a foot of space when it's against the wall so what you're gonna see us do is a time lapse of doing all of these I wish it would go as quick as a time lapse but it won't managed to get all the legs done uh, doesn't look too bad in my opinion obviously it's not the best looking but it works perfectly Sonic was out of stock of this one cabinet here that is like a trash can and uh, paper towel roll as you can see there so we cut some legs for when that comes in between here will be the workstation where I guess will be a standing desk now because yeah but now we're going to work on putting the countertop on, securing all these cabinets together so Sonic actually secures to each other in here. Uh, we'll see if we need to do that. But let's do the cabinet, the, the, the countertop first. And then we've got these wall mounted cabinets that we'll mount on the wall here. And then it also secures to the tall cabinet. And then underneath that are these hanging uh, back wall so we will be doing that after we do the countertop 
I think that's the way we should do it. So stay tuned. Scratch that plan, we ran into an uh, issue because these things aren't designed to be wall mounted. So if you look here, there are these black poles. Those support the pin boards and also support the, I don't know, upright. But if you look at this gap here, that is because these supports go all the way down to the base. So then it brings the whole cabinet about an inch off the wall and I only have these pin boards behind two sections. So this whole section would have a gap of an inch off the wall and I do not want that. So I'm not gonna use these. I will figure out what to do with them. Maybe eventually I'll cut them and then rest it on top, I don't know. So what we're gonna do now is secure the wooden butcher block and then that will put everything in the right space because those are the right length and then I will mount these cabinets directly to the wall find some studs back there I'll, I'll probably if it can mount to this tall cabinet in the middle there in the back there I think it should that will give them extra stability and then you know hope it doesn't rip off the wall <laughs> Hopefully that's helpful for you that are trying to organize or think if you want Sonic. Sonic is not made for wall mounting. Know that for sure. Everything so far, the quality looks great. Hopefully I can help them design uh, the correct way to wall mounting. Uh, they are a you know, newer company in America. Maybe the Germans don't like uh, wall mounting stuff. I don't know. <laughs> uh, their houses are probably made out of concrete and wall mounting is a pain in the ass. Hopefully we can fix that in the future. But for now, I think we've figured out the plan. So. Let's see it happen. So what we're gonna work on now is actually leveling the whole system here. Uh, straighten out these legs so I don't have to see wonky legs. But also, if you go into the back here, it's hard to see, but that foot is not touching the concrete. So I don't want the, what's it called? Cabinets just to sit on this corner. I'd rather have them on the feet. So I'm gonna crank down all those feet and then slowly but surely, level them uh, it looks like this is a 14 millimeter maybe it needs a 13 uh, but anyways that's what we're going to be working on now and we'll go from there well guys stage one of the dreams dream garage build out is officially 95 percent done and i say that mainly because I'm missing this one cabinet. As far as how these cabinets feel, they feel sturdy. They're definitely not made to be mounted to the wall, but we think we've solved that issue. This was my rendering. So these don't work when you mount them to the wall. These black supports don't. But yeah, other than that, it's all good. There are bottom skirts to cover the feet, but you see how that is. I don't know if I'll put those on. They're kind of pointless at this point because my feet are, you know, 
10 inches long. Here's a quick montage of everything.